Got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking good one, dude. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is my beautiful wife, Kristen, and tonight is the night before the American Bass Kayak Series Tournament at Lake Paris. And I kind of wanted to introduce the video in a little bit of a different fashion tonight. I'm obviously with my wife, Kristen. And Kristen, I, I just wanted to ask you a question. I didn't even say what I was gonna ask you before this, but mm -hmm. how does it feel like to see like your husband, myself, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm like prepare for the tournament and then like wake up at like 2 a.m. and like be out there fishing on a plastic boat all day long. Like what are, what are your thoughts about that? Well, when you wake up at 2, I have no idea that you're leaving. <laughs> I'm sleeping. Um, and I just... What do you think about like me like, like carrying like 11 rods and like have all these different presentations and get like super prepared to like fish for one fish like what how, what do you think about that and lots of confusion I'm just like looking at it all like just throw the worm just looking at everything like for a bass <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys i just thought this would be kind of a cool like different way to introduce this video i'm really excited about the tournament we got 50 guys signed up tomorrow's first place five prize is fifteen hundred dollars Big Bass is $500, so hopefully we can get ourselves on a good limit. Lake Paris is my home lake. I've been there quite a few times. I have some really good ideas about how the, the fish are setting up right now. Hopefully we can keep our thumbs ripped up throughout the whole day and maybe in the palm area, because if you're getting your thumbs ripped up in the palm area, you know they're big ones. And always remember to keep your thumbs ripped. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, well we are here in line at Lake Paris. I'm with my co-host on my podcast and one of my good friends, Alex. What's up? And today we are, uh, we're gonna try to do a little bit better than we did at Hodges. We both kind of struggled at Hodges. <laughs> we literally caught no fish. So I'm just hoping to catch one fish this morning, but I think we're gonna do a little better than that. I feel like yeah, there's gonna be a lot get, of fish caught. Yeah, he'll get some limits. So Alex, what do you, what do you think's gonna take it today? What do you think's gonna take the win? 95. 95, I'm gonna say, Ooh, 95 is like right in the middle. I think it's gonna be 95, and then second place is gonna be 92, and then third I'm gonna say, and seventh is gonna be like the high 80s. I'm gonna say first is 93 and a quarter. That's my guess. And then I think the top 10, you're gonna have, you're gonna for sure have to have over 80 in the top 10. Maybe 78 for 10th. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of fish caught, but uh, it's gonna be a good day. There's a little fog out right now, so we got some elements already going on, and. Yeah, I'll see you guys out on the water. Lake Paris, 2021, here we go. Alrighty guys, well we are on the water. Launch time was at 6.15 and I literally launched right there. And my starting spot is right here. I already saw a pretty good sized female on a bed and I think I can get her to go and I'm going to be cranking this riprap point a little bit too. I might even hop from point to point. I've had some really good luck on this stretch right here in the past and it's really exciting knowing that there's a fish on bed on a bed right here. So. We're gonna see what we can put together today. My goal for today is 85 inches. That is my goal. Let me throw on the Daiwa Nico worm. Be throwing the MM3 Nico, crankbait, maybe even a little chatterbait. We'll just kind of see what the day brings us, but pretty excited about today. Now, uh, I will see you guys in about 40, 37 minutes. <laughs> I have to sit here in agony for 37 minutes. So, at least I know there's a fish right here. As long as no one comes over here and leaves me alone, we should be good. But anyways, guys, let's get it. He's done. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. oh my gosh, dude. No, he's, he literally like, he knows what he's doing.
Here we go, here we go. Oh! Bro, <laughs> just relax, dude. He's gonna eat it, he's gonna eat it. There you go. Got him, yeah. I told you, bro. <laughs> he's a. Uh, he's over 16. Yeah. Let's see. <sighs> okay, I'm a little. I was a little off. 1475. All right, guys. First fish, fourteen seven five. See ya, buddy. Oh gosh, dang! Here we go. Oh, dude, I missed it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it now. It's done. It's done. Game over. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> It's a good one, dude. It's a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Game over, buddy. Game over. <laughs> dude, that's a freaking solid one. That's a solid one. Alright, guys. Second fish. 17. Let's go. Let's go. That thing is a freaking absolute toad, dude. I'm about to catch the male. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh my gosh, there she is. Babe, please pray right now that I catch this freaking fish, please. This is so fun. Ready? 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 Oh! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got him! Not the big one though. Come here. <laughs> I need to take this thing far away. Okay, it's by that branch. I have the mail, babe. <laughs> yeah. Babe, I just caught one. <laughs> yeah, can you hear it? Gotcha, sucker. I'm just gonna take a quick one of this one. <laughs> Thirteen seven five. Hey, dude, it's a twenty. It's a twenty. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Man, dude, I just can't get it like right in front of her. It's 
freaking annoying me. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. I just gotta get that right one, you know? She's gonna eat it. She's already, she's already like, did it twice. It's big. It's worth it. I'm gonna catch this one really quick, maybe. Uh, no, I wanna keep working on her. There's another one locked right by it, like a 17. With what? It just bit. I just missed it again. Okay, I got it aggro now. Here we go. I'd probably be leading. Is that four fish or three? I'd probably be leading him right now. Here we go, here we go. Dude, it, it's not it's not eating it. It's just like flaring up at it. Uh opened its mouth. Got it. I got it. I got it. Oh my gosh, it's a freaking good one, dude. No! Wow, dude. Because I'm using a spinning rod. I didn't. I didn't break off. The hook just came out. Oh my gosh, dude. Please stay on. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Alright guys. 18 and a half. Fourth fish. Let's get some more. Let me double check the picture. 18 and a half. Identifier's in. Let's go. Dang dude, that was a good one, man. I thought it was bigger. It was a fatty.
There's our limit. There's our limit. All right, guys, we are gonna make a move. I don't know if I'm gonna go very far, but we're gonna make a move. Got five fish for like 77 inches, lost a couple good ones. Feeling pretty good about today. Let's see if we can get some more. So as you guys can see, there's freaking tons of pleasure boats out here. Uh, but I'm getting bit on the points. I feel confident. I might go back to the point I was catching them at. I don't know, it's been a while since I've gotten a bite. But I'm like one good fish away from maybe even securing like a top five spot maybe. Right now I'm at about 70, probably somewhere around 76. But uh, we'll just keep throwing it. Let's get one more good one and then it's gonna be interesting. Donnie, Donnie, don't come off, don't come off. Don't come off. Come on, come on, get up here, get up here. Yes! Yeah, dude. That's another 17. All right, guys. Well, today has been just a ton of bed fishing. I think I've caught almost all my fish on beds. And I'm going to go back to where... I first started and throw a Hail Mary and see if I can stick one of those good ones out there. Anyways guys, stay tuned and I will see you guys in a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's probably a hundred people on the beach, 400 jet skis, and we're out here banging with the best of them. Boom! This is showcasing the motor guys at work. Dave's on a heel. <laughs> on a Hobie PA 14. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Imagine paddling in this. This is why it's worth every penny. I just go like that. I can steer. It's easier. It's worth every penny. Imagine pedaling or paddling in this. Alrighty guys, well we are back home. We ended up taking ninth place. I think I had 80 and a quarter inches. If I didn't lose those two or three fish, I think it would have been close to 90. But either way, it was a really good event. 
The American Bass Kayak Series is always fun. Out at Lake Paris, uh, it felt good to kind of do well on my home lake. Looking forward to the next one at Lake Piru. And man, it's just a fun time to be out, um, catching them on beds with that little Daiwa Nico worm. It was fun, it was addicting. There was a couple times where I wasted a little bit too much time on smaller fish, but at the end of the day, I just wanted to catch as many as I could too. So it was just, it was fun. And without being, without having any practice, I felt like today went really well. So anyways, guys, I really thank you guys for following along. I really appreciate all the comments, really appreciate all the support. Uh, thank you guys for all the feedback you've been giving me about the podcast. If you guys haven't seen our podcast, make sure you go check out the Bass Limits Fishing Podcast over on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Really appreciate you guys. As always, keep your thumbs ripped, and I'll see you on the next one.